Hello everyone, once more you are welcome to a glorious world where we get empowered on how to be successful. Today we are going to be looking at five rewards for drawing closer to God. Five rewards a Christian gets for drawing closer to God. If you're interested to know the blessings, the rewards you get for going closer to God, please stay tuned and God bless you. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Please, if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to join the lovely family of God's people. Like I said, we are going to be talking about five rewards a child of God gets for drawing closer to God. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says that God is a rewarder to those who diligently seek him. God rewards those who diligently seek him. Diligently seek him in Greek is a word called exetoho exetoho which means to search which means to find which means to to persuade to be consistent in seeking which means that you have to be constant in your effort in seeking or which means you have to be persistent in seeking you don't just seek once and you give up so let's look at five different rewards you get as a child of god for seeking the lord five different rewards you get as a child of god for drawing closer to god for drawing yourself closer to god the first one is god will draw closer to you god will draw closer to you james 4 verse 8 says if you draw closer to god god will draw closer to you as a child of god if you draw closer to god he will draw closer to you and when he draws closer to you he will direct you on what you should do when he draws closer to you he will guide you on what you should do he will open your eyes to see things that ordinary people will not see so when you draw closer to god god will draw closer to you Number two, if you draw closer to, to God, he will guide you into all truth. When you draw closer to God, he will guide you into all truth. John chapter 16 verse 13. All truth means that he will direct you in how to live your life according to the perfect will of God. He will guide you in every area of your life how to live your life according to the perfect will of God. Which means that if you're a business person, God will direct you or guide you on how to make profit in the business. Which means, excuse me, <clears throat> which means as parents, God will guide you with wisdom on how to raise your children in the fear of God, which means in your classes, in school, God will give you wisdom. He will guide you on how to study, to, to succeed in those classes. So he will guide you into all truth. Things that people struggle with, you will not struggle with them because you have God's guidance in your life. So when you draw closer to God, he makes things smoother in your life for you in Jesus' mighty name. Number three, he will show things to come. When your spirit is tuned to understand when God is speaking to you, he will show you things in your future. He will show you things that are future in your marriage. He will show things in the future of your children, which means that before something happens, so long as you understand how God speaks, he will show you those things and you will understand. And if you do understand how God speaks, then definitely when he speaks, you will know exactly what to do. And that's how dreams, revelations, and visions set in. Because God uses those me medium to show you things to come in the future. So as a child of God, when you draw closer to God, he will show you things in your future. And you will know exactly how to face those situations when they arise in the mighty name of Jesus. Number four, when you draw closer to God, everything will be given unto you. Everything will be given unto you. Matthew 6 verse 33 states, It says, Seek first the kingdom of God, and every other thing will be added unto you. So all you need to do is seek first the kingdom of God, and then see the great reward. It did not say that some things are going to be added to you. It said everything is going to be added to you. Everything is going to be added to you. 
That means whatever you're looking for in your financial area, you will be blessed. Whatever you're seeking for in a marriage, you will get it. Whatever you're seeking for in your career, you will get it. Whatever you're seeking for in the life of your children, in the lives of your children, you will get it. Everything. It means everything. That's why the Bible says, my God will supply all my needs according to his riches in glory which means whatever you are looking for you will receive it in the name of jesus all you need to do is to seek the lord all you need to do is to seek the lord draw closer to him and then he will give you everything you need to make in this life it also means that if you are in need of healing god will give you if you are in need of um, um, if you're in need of a miracle to find a spouse, God will definitely give you. So whatever you're in need of, all you need to do is to seek God, draw closer to God, and your needs will be supplied in the mighty name of Jesus. Number five, he will annoy your natural abilities. He will annoy your natural abilities. As a child of God, most of the times when we are called into service, the first thing that comes to mind is I can't do it. Yes, yeah, the first thing that comes to mind is I can't do it. We can see that with, with Moses. Moses gave so many excuses to God as to why he could not be the one to lead the Israelite out of the out of Egypt. And so we also saw that with Jeremiah. Jeremiah said the same thing that I can't, you know. What can I possibly do? What can I possibly say? I don't know how to, to, to face these people. But when God calls you into service, he anoints your natural abilities. And all you need as a child of God is to be available. All you need is to be available. We can see that from Luke chapter 4 verse 18. So whenever God calls you, he anoints your, um, anoint your natural abilities for you to be able to do things. I personally am an example of someone God has anointed my natural abilities because under normal circumstances, I hate to, to, to be the one to speak. I hate to be the one to be upfront. I hate to be the one to be noticed. I always like to stay in the back and be quiet. But you know what? When it comes to the things of God, he knows how to lift you and keep you in that position. He, he annoy your natural abilities and make you fit for that position. So all you need as a child of God is availability. Are you available? Then God is ready to use you in the mighty name of Jesus. So they are, these are five benefits that when we draw closer to God, he will equally draw closer to us. When we draw closer to God, he will guide us when we draw closer to God. He will supply all our needs. When we draw closer to God, he will annoy our natural abilities and make us bold enough to stand and take the word of God forward in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to take a prayer point. I want you to pray. Say, Lord, give me the grace to be able to draw closer to you. We may, we may, we may speak it and talk about it as if it's something very easy, but I guarantee you it's not an easy task. That's why a lot of people struggle. It's not an easy task. That's why you see people struggling just to draw closer to God. So ask the Lord to give you the grace to draw closer to him. Ask the Lord to give you the grace to draw closer to him. Father, give us the grace to draw closer to you. Give us the grace to seek you diligently. Give us the grace to come closer to you more than ever before. Give us the grace to seek you with everything that we have. Give us the grace to be persistent, Lord. Give us the grace to be constant. That we will not give up when things are not working according to the way we want. Lord, we will not give up. I pray for your children. Let them receive the grace to seek you, Lord. Let them receive the grace to draw closer to you. Father, I give you the glory because you are God. I give you the honor. You are faithful and there is none like you. Take your glory and your honor. Take your Take your glory and your honor because you deserve every little bit of it. We worship you, Lord. You are faithful. You are faithful and sit on your throne and be worshipped all by yourself because you are God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. I pray that the word you have heard today is going to take you a long way. It's going to bring changes to your life. It's going to bring blessings to your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe so that when we do a teaching, when we give out words of empowerment, you will be the first to know. And God bless you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Shalom.